The owner of a Beaumont engineering company is trying to safeguard petrochemical plants from the kind of terror attack that killed a Nederland native working overseas. 57-year-old Victor Lovelady died when a terrorist group took over the natural gas plant where he was working in Algeria. It's tough for the government on, or private business to prevent such attacks on energy complexes. But KFTM anchor Ashley Gaston reports a Beaumont engineer is doing what he can to protect the people inside. Sina Nejad's Beaumont Engineering Company has spent more than a quarter century designing chemical and petrochemical plants in the U.S. and foreign countries. The technique is where you, you would design buildings where either people cannot infiltrate mm -hmm. or blast loads cannot damage. It's a skill that took on added importance following the September 11th attacks. After 9-11, unfortunately, we all got exposed to extreme terrorism and uh, what people can do purposefully to hurt others and, and buildings, for example. And uh, all of a sudden, what we were doing became fashionable warehouse that we're doing for one of our What clients. his firm does is take the plans on paper and try to make a plant more secure, less likely to suffer catastrophic damage in a bombing. But at the end of the day, we will be able to save people's life and equipment inside this building. Najad's goal is to design blast-resistant buildings at plants here and overseas and try to create a buffer between a job site and terrorists who want to get inside. So unfortunately, when you hear those things, it, it kind of takes you back and you want to step and look at everything else that you do to see how could you do things in your business and in your life that would not become a victim to that type of behavior. The engineer says his company studies what happened in the past, 9-11, the Algerian attack, and learn new ways to keep workers safe. In Beaumont, Ashley Gaston, KFDM 6 News. Nijan said his firm also works on safety plans for chemical plants in the U.S. And this